Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to do a little tips and tricks or a little how to use the cling adhesive sheets and these are a product that was highly requested from so many of us, demonstrators and customers, that Stampin' Up! supplied the sheets for the cling adhesive for us to use on our clear mount stamp set. So this might be a little confusing for those of you that are brand new to Stampin' Up! But a couple years ago, we used to have a stamp that was called Clear Mount. And the Clear Mount was very similar to the brand new Cling Stamps. The only difference was that the Cling Stamps really, really stick to our clear blocks. A lot better than the, the Clear Mount. And I'm using my $1 million stamp set, the One Wild Ride. This stamp set is no longer available, but this was a clear mount stamp set at the time. And this is exactly how you would add the stickers to your clear mount or your cling stamp. Okay, so you're just gonna pop out the stamp and the red rubber, they're not clear, and they cling to the clear blocks. Okay, so this is just the foam on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and take the sticker. Now there's two sides to the sticker that's going to go on the stamp. You're going to see there's a little cut in the sticker. So we're going to peel that off. Okay. And then you're going to take your sticker and you're going to take your stamp and I'm just going to lay this flat here. And you're going to line this up with the sticker and then press down. Okay, so this is how you're adding the sticker to the back of your image. So once again, I mentioned that this is the clear mount. So what we found over the years is that the clear mount did not adhere very good. Well, you can see right there, it's not sticking very good to my block. First of all, you had to have a pristine clean block and you had to have no fingerprints, no glitter, nothing on that block as well as the stamp to make it adhere really nicely. You can see that you really have to press that stamp to make it cling to the block and sometimes it didn't even stick that way. All right, so and then it just slid off that way. All right, so now we're going to change this stamp. Let me just move this stuff out of the way. And we're going to make it like the brand new cling stamp. So now let me add the sticker sheet to the one of the images here to this stamp. So we're going to use this cute little dog. And you're going to apply the sticker the same way as we did to the One Wild Ride. So I'm going to find the cut in the middle of the sheet. Peel off the backing. Okay. And then I'm going to take my dog stamp. And this is cling stamp. So this is going to work with the cling mount system where it's going to cling to your clear blocks. Okay, so I'm going to take my stamp and I'm going to line this up with the sticker. Press that down. And peel that off. So now I have my sticker on the back of my stamp. So now you're going to see the difference when I adhere this stamp to my clear block. Now mind you, my clear block is not very clean. And it's still going to stick really nice. Well, if I have it not, so I can peel that off. It actually has to be peeled off the block. But it's not permanently adhered to the block either. So it is definitely on the block and ready to stamp. And you can clean it. And then you can also see the image on this side. Okay, so this is what the image, the stickiness of this stamp we want on this stamp. So this is where the clean adhesive sheets that are brand new in the annual catalog this year. And you're going to get 168 strips. So you're going to get all these sheets of just adhesive strips. So you can transform your clear mount to your clean stamps. So they stick really good. So once again, you're going to have two different sides to your sticker sheet or your adhesive sheet. And I'm going to use the shiny side. And once again, the shiny side has a cut in the middle. So you can see when you bend it, right? So just like our sticker sheet that we use for the stamps, this is the exact same way. So we're going to peel off the backing. 
and this is considered one strip. Okay, so even though we're peeling off two backings, it's considered one piece. Okay, so now we have our sticker part right here. You can hear that, right? <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take our stamp. Now remember, this is the cling foam that we just did. does not stick very good to the block. So I'm going to put this sticker onto this stamp. And it's just a matter of positioning the, the sticker part or the adhesive right where I want it on the stamp. I'm going to press that down, making sure that it adheres really good to the back of my image. And then I'm going to peel that off. Stick into the other side of the sticker here. There we go. Okay, so now I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up, but the sticker is right in the middle of my image here. Life's a journey. Enjoy the ride. So hope, I'm just turning it multiple ways so you can see that sticker is on there. And it is sticky, but don't worry. It will not permanently stick to your block. So you're just going to put that on to your clear block. And really, it's on there now. Just pressing that center part where the sticker is, or that cling adhesive, it will not move. And you're good to stamp. And plus it's see-through, so you can still see the image of the sticker on there just fine. So what else is nice is that since the sticker part, or the adhesive, is only on the inside of this image, it's easy to pick up off the black. So you can tell it still comes off, but yet it's going to hold the image on the stamp. Okay, so that's how you use this brand new cling adhesive sheets that look like this. And they're on page 162 in the annual catalog. So if you want to transform your clear mount stamps to the brand new cling foam, you can do that with these brand new cling adhesive sheets. Okay, so if you have any questions, just let me know. And then I'll have all the items listed down below. And then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you later. Bye.